Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Fanu here, and today we're going to be discussing the CSGO market or the economy. It's been crashing for those of you that have been paying attention the last couple of weeks, and um, finally decided to make a video talking about what's going on, where I think this is going, and uh, why I'm not really too worried, but you know, some people might be. So here we go. Let's get right into it. So yes, guys, all skin prices, pretty much all skin prices have fallen from their all-time highs earlier this, um, not this month, in June, late May. But to be fair... It was expected, like, you know, this was a bubble forming a lot of uh, Chinese collectors, a lot of uh, new players from China, from other parts of the world, going into the economy and buying a lot of skins for pretty high prices, and prices were climbing for a long time um, this year. So it was coming, you know, you could have seen it coming, and, um, you know, obviously it's a tough decision to sell your skins while skin prices are rising, because, you know... <laughs> They could rise even more and you can make even more money so it is tempting but you know some people did and that's great for them and some people didn't sell and you know it's unfortunate you didn't capitalize on the opportunity to make a really nice profit but at the end of the day you still have some pretty nice assets in the form of csgo skins especially like, like the higher tier skins if you have any higher tier knives or stickers from cato 14 and stuff like that so either way yes prices are now dipping but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of the world it doesn't mean they're gonna go down to zero unless bitcoin goes to zero but you know that's beside the point um but no actually if you really do think about it the reason why a lot of these skins were being pumped up was because of bitcoin you know bitcoin being banned in china or rather like they have the mining operations were being halted there so a lot of people were trying to get out of their um bitcoin investments and they decided to just dump it all into a video game that has quite the economy going for it a lot of uh, very nice collectible items like CSGO skins and knives. So yes, guys, prices were pumped, then they were dumped for a nice quick profit, and now, um... Yeah, we're just left with people just following the the herd, you know, herd mentality. You know, you see prices start falling, you know, you try to get out of it as well, and you sell your item, and prices continue to fall. And I also want to make it clear, not everybody pumped and dumped their Bitcoin. That isn't, as, you know, the only reason why skin prices are rising. Obviously, there are many more factors than just a group of people throwing their crypto into CSGO skins. That's not why it happened 100%. There's a little bit more to that, but in terms of where this market is going, obviously, there is um, a major coming up later this year that's going to bring new players new uh, life to the game there's going to be new uh, money being added to the economy as more people buy the stickers buy the passes invest all that good stuff so yes prices will start to rebound or at least stabilize in the latter half of the year obviously during a csgo major or when a new csgo operation comes out skin prices do tend to fall and that's just because people are trying to you know buy the newest items buy the newest things quick sell their old items and yeah skin prices do tend to fall but i do anticipate there being a stable stabilization in a lot of skins especially like the higher tier items or like the older rare items in csgo if you own any collections operation collections from way way back when in csgo i think you'll be fine yes we probably won't be hitting those all-time highs that we saw earlier this year but again you should see some steadier growth like we have been seeing over the last couple of years in csgo and i do think that you probably shouldn't be selling your skins yes you can probably sell maybe it dips a little bit lower you buy it lower but at the end of the day is it really worth it you could have just hold on to your skin continue to use that skin that's what i'm doing at least you know i'm not you know worried that my inventory's value fell a thousand five thousand dollars who cares at this point i still have the skins that's what i care about and um I, I will plan to get more as i invest more in the upcoming major and operations to come so don't panic this is a pretty big correction in csgo one of the first corrections that we've had and i'm sure there are gonna be more to come that doesn't mean that the carnage has ended yet guys there's still time for it to go down but there's also time for it to rise we don't know what's gonna happen you know prices can start pumping again obviously due to current events what happens with the future of crypto what happens with economies worldwide with inflation and other parts of the world uh, so please know that obviously it can keep going down but it can also rebound just as quickly so i will admit that it's more likely that it will be pretty um stagnant for the next couple of months but again if you hold on to your skins especially the old csgo skins that you can no longer get anymore in drops i think you'll be fine i'm holding on to my skins unless there is a spike in 
prices, in which case I might sell a little bit so I can have some capital for future investments in CSGO. I'll make plenty of videos when the major comes around. And of course, guys, if you have any questions about your skins and your inventory, let me know in the comment section below. But that's about all I had for this video, guys. So until next time, this is Fano signing out.